Okay, first a look inside a Mematec uh, MTX system. We have a crystal here, 4 MHz crystal, feeding a Z80A processor with a Z80CTC, with an address decoder PAL here, feeding uh, these memory chips over here. We have the keyboard connector down the side. We have a, a crystal feeding the video chip here, a TMS9918 video chip here in America, 9929 in the UK. Video memory over here. We have the ROMs, which can be three ROMs in an older Memotech. And we have a video daughter card and a modulator to send the picture out to the TV. Now, in order to install the re-memorizer on this uh, Memotech computer, uh, there are a number of changes we might like to make. So the first one is to remove the OS and BASIC ROMs, which are actually in a single ROM chip on this particular motherboard. Because we have removed the ROMs from the motherboard, we set the ROMs jumper on the rememorizer to high. And because we've done that, rememorizer will supply alternative ROMs, which include virtual tape support and don't corrupt the RAM disk when the computer starts. Another consideration we have to make is around the memory. So this address decoder PAL varies depending upon the computer that you have. If you have a very old MTX500, it will actually present the 32K of memory that it has in more than one place, and this will clash with any memory upgrade that you have. Now, later MTX500s had a fixed version of this PAL, which would not do that. So the first thing that you would need to do if you have an MTX500 is to replace this PAL with the PAL supplied labelled 232 or possibly 332 if you have three ROMs. That stops the memory from appearing twice and allows Rememorizer to do an upgrade. If you have an MTX512, your PAL is already good and you can just leave it alone. But if, like this computer, you actually have an MTX512 System 2, this memory is actually 256k of memory. And again, that will clash with the upgrade supplied with Rememorizer. In that case, replace the PAL with the PAL labelled 264S2. What that PAL does is it only provides 64k of memory, allowing Rememorizer to do the upgrade. Now, if you have an MTX500, you only have 32k. So what you then need to do is to move this jumper here on Rememorizer into the high position which tells it to provide the remaining 32k. Once you've done those things to your Memotech system, you can connect the Rememorizer here, you can correct the video adapter, uh, the video card through your VGA connector here, and you'll be ready to go.